Remember die men, women, young and old, just like the assassination of Kennedy, everyone knew where they were when they heard the news. The Manchester United plane has crashed I was brought up on stories of the Busby babes. In adolescence I probably heard more of the tale from my paternal grandmother. Sunday afternoons spent in her little pensioner bungalow, where clear recollections of someone who wasn't much of a football fan at all, impressed upon me how important this special and brilliant collection of young men must have been. The lesson would generally start when watching Brian Moore's The Big Match, particularly if the Red Devils were on the silver screen. My grandmother would only ever refer to them as the Busby Babes, the term coined by Manchester Evening News writer Tom Jackson, in homage to the English League champions of 1955 56 and 1956 57, with average ages of 21 and 22, respectively. Looking back, I could understand the local interest around the goalkeeping great, Harry Gregg, whose funeral I was honoured to attend last February on a home trip to Northern Ireland, and Belfast's Jackie Blanchflower, brother of the revered Danny, who like Gregg, survived the crash but injured and broken, never played the game again. But the name always emerging more than any other, was that of a lad from Dudley in the West Midlands. I had no idea where Dudley was, somewhere in England. But everyone talked about Duncan Edwards' greatness, not only my grandmother. I learned the meaning of the word colossus